we're doing front brake pads and rotors on it. And we're gonna start, we have a T30 torque strip right here. I'm gonna just take this off now because we're gonna be changing the rotor. So to get for the caliper pin bolts here. This is a pretty simple brake job you can do in the driveway. You know, just make sure you jack up the car and get a stand on it and secure it. But it's an easy one to do, it's quick. So, all right, we got the two bolts out here, the tens. We're gonna pry the caliper up a little bit here, try and get in between the brake pads and collapse the piston here. You know, you can use the piston co collapse when you get it off. I kind of prefer this method, if you can get away with this one, so. Slide that brake pad over. And use the brake pad to go up against the piston. It's collapsing now, you can feel it. So we're gonna take those off right now. Still haven't gotten that Milwaukee ratchet yet, Tony. <laughs> That's a bio. Old school ratchet again. Take the brake batter off, we're gonna put it on the bench right here. We've already taken our screw out here, a T30 Torx bit. I'm just gonna put the rotor a little tap. We're gonna put some on the screw that holds the rotor on, and I'm doing them on my caliper pins, just a little dab there. And this is the caliper pin bolt, excuse me. The caliper pins, we're gonna use the blue synthetic um, grease that we have for brakes. Let's go over to our brake bar right now. This one is, this one's down on iron. So that's bad, that's up there. We're gonna remove our clips. The new brake pads that we got, we got new clips with it. We got this set up from Napa and quality seems nice, the clips are nice. We're gonna get the two clips off and we're gonna wire brush these tabs up so that we make sure that our new brake pads and clips for the nice and slide down. We just got our wire brush here and we're cleaning our bar up here. We don't want any of that, so this is smooth. Now we've got our caliper pins here. We're gonna just twist these up, hold the boots, twist them out. We've got our grease. I pull them out one at a time because one of them has a rubber boot on and it's positional. So you want to keep that rubber boot caliper pin on the same position that it's in. Get these lubed up nice. Slide them back down into the boot. Twist them. See how they're pushing out? That's what you want. This is the one with the rubber on it. And that one's good. And the center of this one as well. Center of those. Push those down, those are nice and flat. Now we got our dot, we got our grease. We're gonna put in our little pocket here for where the brake pads ride. You want the tops and the brake pads, we wanna make sure the hands are clean. You don't really want any grease on your brake pads. So we've got the one with the warning tab. That went on the inside. And so this one runs on the outside here. So I take the pad and I usually slide it down like this. And then I roll it into place. I'm gonna do the same thing with this one. Now let's go get our brake rotor cleaned up. Brake cleaning over here. Try not to touch the rotor and put that on right now. And our bolt lined up over here. Let's get our rotor so that the boot is moist and it stays moist. Trying to get it on the seal. I put a little bit on the back side here so it touches the brake pads. So we've got everything preset now. So we're gonna grab our loaded brake bar with our brake pads. And just start these back into the holes a little bit. Don't stick them through so they're in there a little bit. I grab the brake bar. It's nice and wide here so that I can slide it onto the rotor <coughs> this way. And now I'm gonna try and line up my bolts. I'm caught there. I'm gonna to make sure that they started correctly though. They tighten pretty quick. I like to just snug the bottom one until I get the top one tight. Then I'll go back and tighten the bottom one all the way up. Go in there and catch one of those. I use the gear wrench, the 10, because on the driver's side, it's very close to this hose. You seem to have a little more room on the passenger side. I couldn't get a socket in there. So the gear wrench works nice. I'm gonna tighten both of these up with the 10 millimeter gear wrench and just get that so it's tightened, so it's snug. I'm gonna tighten this one first and then go back to the bottom one. Okay, so we got our caliper bolts on. We got our two 18 millimeter for the bracket tightened down. We got our new rotor on. We've got our T30 Torx fit lubricated and tightened. Everything's been lubricated. It's gonna be the same procedure on the other side. When we put the car down, we're gonna pump up the brake, make sure the pedal is good and we're gonna check the fluid level and make sure the fluid level is accurate. And that'll be it.